One of the ways that the alarmist community uh, avoids having a real scientific discussion is by diverting it to things like uh, a, like uh, ad hominem attacks or, mm -hmm. or maybe something which is you know resembles like in, in this case uh, you're saying oh we shouldn't listen to him because he's not a climatologist mm -hmm. he hasn't published uh, papers in climatology that's of course irrelevant because you should judge the facts for themselves or papers for themselves and not uh, care who the author is or what his background uh, because that's what you should do in science mm -hmm. uh, nevertheless I have published maybe a dozen papers uh, directly related to climate. Mm -hmm. Over the past uh, century, um, you have a lot of different uh, factors uh, playing a role. You have anthropogenic forcing, mm -hmm. you have uh, volcanoes, you have uh, the sun. Mm -hmm. So it's very hard when you have a, a finite uh, duration and you have a lot of things affecting to pinpoint and extract a single uh, driver. The nice thing about the sun is that you have the 11 year solar cycle, which is unique. You don't have the 11 year solar cycle in volcanoes or in human activity. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you can find climate signals which synchronize with the solar cycle, mm -hmm. you obviously know that those climate variations uh, come from the sun mm -hmm. and uh, you can see the mechanism operating on decadal time scale. Now, if you uh, look at the climate on short time scales, you also have another thing to consider. And that's that uh, the oceans have a high heat capacity, which means that it's it takes them time to heat up and, uh, and cool. That means that it's hard to see the whole extent of uh, the climate signature when you look on, uh, on short time scales. Nevertheless, if you look at the amount of heat that goes into the oceans over the solar cycle, and you can do that since uh, maybe the 1920s when you have a good enough uh, tide gauge uh, records, you can clearly see variations in the sea level mm -hmm. or in the rate of change of the sea level which synchronize with the solar cycle. And you can use that to quantify the effect that the sun has on climate mm -hmm. on the decadal time scale which is the time scale relevant uh, also for understanding 20th century climate variation. Stop.